a tight lie around the green. This strikes fear into so many golfers, but it needn't be something that keeps you awake at night. This is a shot that everybody can master, and today I'm gonna to show you how. Hey everybody, Peter Finch here, and I'm down at the beautifully sun-baked Stockport Golf Club today. The greens are looking lovely, the surrounds are looking beautiful, and I'm doing a video that so many people have requested, and that is chipping off tight lights. Now, I did a video a few weeks ago about chipping over a bunker, again, a source of great fear and dismay to many people, but this is the one. This is the one that so many people continually ask about. So I'm gonna talk you through how to play that high spinning shot, but first of all, let's just understand that you've got options. Now to demonstrate this point, I'm gonna start with a putter, but I'm gonna aim at a point which is about five feet past the hole because I've got this little bit of fringe to actually go through and that's gonna take quite a lot of speed off the ball. But apart from that, I'm setting up to it and I'm gonna play it as I would do a normal putt, just aiming for that point after the hole. Just allowing that extra little, oh, do it for me, do it for me, do it for me. Oh. oh. <clears throat> that would have been a good demo. Now the second option and a shot that you have to have within your arsenal is a little fairway chip and run because what it does, it gives that ball a little bit of elevation, just gets it running through this fringe a little bit easier, but also it adds quite a good impetus to the golf ball. Now what I mean by that is a lot of people from this position actually struggle to get the ball to the hole unless they thin it. The big wide sole on this fairway woods just glides across the top of the grass and it just gets that ball popping that little bit further forward. Now I'm not aiming for a point Oh, that's broke away. Well, they're consistent. But as you can see, that fairway will just glide through, glide through, glided through, went through impact so easily. So next up, little chip and run. I've got a six iron here, so it's a mid iron and it's gonna get the ball just scooting through again, this fringe grass. Now, because of that, I'm gonna treat it more like a putt. So I'm gonna just be rocking my shoulders back and through, just trying to brush that grass as I actually hit. But more importantly, the ball position is gonna be slightly back. My weight is gonna be slightly forward. And again, I'm just gonna use my shoulders to pop it through this bit of fringe grass. Now that is on a good line. Break, 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 break. Why aren't you breaking? Why, why am I not holding any of these shots? Now the last option that you should be going to is the lob wedge. And the way that I play this shot, I'm gonna get into in a moment, but just notice the difference in the flight. I'm obviously gonna be carrying this a little bit further onto the green and it's gonna be stopping, hopefully, much, much quicker. Oh, do it. Oh, for God's sake. Why am I so unhappy about not holding a shot? Spoilt, that's what I am, spoilt. So that's the tightest lie that I could find in Manchester right now. It's basically just a little bare patch where the grass hasn't grown after the rains earlier in the year, and it's super tight. I don't know why I put my glove on. What makes it even harder is that it's a little bit wet. So it's a little bit wet and then super tight. So it's a tricky shot. First of all, you need to get your head around what you're actually trying to do with this shot. You do not want the club to dig in. You want the club, again, to be gliding along the surface. Even on a very tight lie like this, that is perfectly possible to do. It does take practice, does take a little bit of touch and feel and that confidence that you will build through practice, but it is absolutely possible. So I've just moved the ball out of the way because I just want to get used to that feeling of getting that club glancing along the surface. Now, setup wise, I'm going to put weight onto my front foot. My ball position is going to be inside my left toe, so just inside my left toe. That's because I want the club to be moving down, but I don't want it to be digging in. And if the ball position is forward, that'll allow me to get that club moving underneath. Also, I don't want a lot of wrist hinge here. I want to be keeping the arc nice and wide. Now, the easiest way to do that is just to fold that right elbow. So just to fold it into the side, then as you come through, and when you get to this position, get the club face pointing straight back at you. This will say, and show, say, if your wedge starts talking to you, you've got bigger problems. This will show that you managed to maintain that loft. So I'm just gonna have a few practice swings, ball position forward. My hands, you can see, aren't miles ahead. They're just gonna be level with my left thigh. And all I wanna be doing is just allowing that club to be glancing off the surface using that bounce angle, getting that club face pointed at me on the way through. Sounds simple, and I am. <laughs> I am making it sound simple, but honestly, once you get used to this type of technique, I'm just gonna grip down the club a touch as well here, just for that extra little bit of control. Ball position well forward, that weight of that little bit forward as well. Fold the right arm, and just let that club glance through as it comes. A little bit tentative on that one, track was okay, just need to give it a little bit more. The same setup again, let that club move through. 
pointing at me on the way. Oh, look at the spin on that. That was obscene. I literally stopped where it landed. That's the big, that's the big bonus of this. If you can get that strike right, the rewards are extreme. Right, okay. Could have hit a little bit harder. Oh, stop it, Pete. But this does take practice. You know, I've not practiced a shot in quite a while either. Hey, that really one good one where I accelerated through. Let's actually try and get it close. Nipped right off the top there. That was a little bit more like it. That's more of the contact I want to see. I don't want to be taking divots here. Come on, keep that speed up. Don't be afraid. Oh, just off the bottom, a little bit thin. Last shot, make it count. Come on. Ah, oh, it's more. Oh, look at that spin. So if you are struggling with that tight light around the green, I hope that helps. Make sure, if you haven't already, to smash that like button, to hit that subscribe, and to click that little bell icon in something like that order so you don't miss out on any future videos. Get down into those comments. Let me know some of the best things that have helped you if you've struggled playing off those tight lies before. Always learning, always love to know more. Right, guys, thanks for watching. Huge thank you to Stockport for having me down as well. Course is in mint condition, and we'll see you down here next time.